Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a chapter that is relation functions. Okay. What we are going to start is relation functions. Okay. First of all, what we will read, we read about the relations and then we will read about the functions. So what is relation? So uh, first of all to know about the relation, we will know about first that is what is ordered pair. First we will read about what is ordered pair. An ordered pair consists of two objects or elements. An ordered pair consists of two objects or elements in a given fixed order. What is the order pair? In the context of an ordered pair, there are two objects which are in a fixed order. Let us suppose take an example A. We have read about the sets. So let us take an example if there are two sets A and B. A and B are two sets. If there are two sets A and B, then an ordered pair then ordered pair will be written as A is to B. A and B are two sets and we pair that is order in which A element A is belongs to set A and B is belong to set B. So A B is what called as ordered pair. So ordered pair can be written in the uh, brackets A is to B right where A is belongs to set A and B belongs to set B or A and B can belong to only one set also. These are called as ordered pair. Next is equality of ordered pair. Equality of ordered pair. What does equality of ordered pair means? Equality of ordered pairs means two ordered pairs are equal if and if only. Let us suppose there are two pairs. A1, B1 is one pair and another pair a2, b2 are equal only if are equal only if a1 is equal to a2 that is element uh, added pair first element is equal to first element of another ordered pair and element of second ordered pair is equal to b1 will be equal to b2 then only these two ordered pair are equal let's move to the example Find the value of find the values of A and B if three A minus two B plus three is equal to two A minus one and three. What is given? There's two ordered pair which are equal. So we have to find the value of A and B. So we can equate the first element of both the ordered pair. We can write it like as 3a minus 2 will be equal to 2a minus 1. We can write it like this. And if we solve it, we can write as 3a minus 2a will be equal to minus 1 plus 2. That is a will be equal to 1. So what we will get? Value of a is equal to 1. And for value of b, we can equate the second or ordered pair, second element that is b plus 3 will be equal to 3. Then it gives b is equal to 0. So this is the second value. So we can find it the value of a and b. These are called ordered pairs. So what we read is two ordered pairs are only equal if element first element of first ordered pair is equal to second first element of second ordered pair. So we can equate the first both elements of first elements of both the pairs and we can find the value of A and B. Let's move to the next topic. It is, it is Cartesian product of sets. What is Cartesian product of sets? Cartesian product is if there are two sets A and B. A and B are two sets. If A and B are two sets, then ordered pair AB such that 
we have ordered pair a b such that the element a is belong to a and element b is belong to b and a and b are not null sets these are not empty sets so a is belong to a and b is belong to b then a is called cartesian product set of a cartesian product is then cartesian product is denoted by cartesian product is denoted by a cross b this is the cartesian product of a and b where a is the subset of a is element of set a and b is small, small b is element of set b so these are called cartesian product thus a into b will be equal to a b where a belongs to a and b belongs to b since a element contain only a and b element contain only b element so a cross b will be equal to a is to b this will be more clear with the help of example if a is equal to 5 and let us suppose b is equal to also 5 then a cross b will also be equal to 5 since a l, l uh, set a does not contain any element and c b set b also didn't contain any element so a cross b also will contain no element let's move to the example let a is equal to 1 2 3 set a contain element 1 2 3 and set b contain x to x belongs to n x is prime less than 5 we have to find a cross b and b cross a we have to find both the a cross b and b cross a so how can we find it let's see first we are finding a cross b a cross b will be equal to we have to find a cross b so a cross b will be equal to element a and element c so first we will write element a element a contains a contain elements 1 2 3 and in b they are given that x and x is the prime number less than 5 which are the prime numbers which are less than 5 are 1 1 is not a prime number so prime number less than 5 are 2 2 is a prime number which is less than 5 then 3 is a prime number which is also less than 5 but we have to find next prime number is 5 but we have to take only less than 5 so let's move to the a cross b here what we have to find a cross b a cross b will be equal to element a contains 1 2 3 cross elements b contain 2 3 we have to find a cross b we can find it like that we take the element 1 then take it with 2 we take 1 2 then 1 3 Then two, 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 three, three, two, three, three. These are the elements which will contain an A cross B. Similarly, if we have to find B cross A, then B cross A will be equal to two, three. B contain two, three, and L set A contain one, two, and three. So B cross A will be equal to Two one, two two, two three, three one, three two, and three three. These are the elements which will be contained in B cross A, and these are the elements will be contained in A cross B. So we, in this way, we can find the elements A cross B and B cross A. Let's move to the next example. If A contains Elements one, three, five, six, and B contains, and B contains elements two, four. Then we have to find A cross B and B cross A. To find these two, first of all, we will find A cross A B. A cross B. A cross B will be equal to one, three, five, six, and two, two. Four. That will be equal to if we are finding we are writing the ordered pair. It is one two, one four, three two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव टू फाइव फोर देन सिक्स टू एंड सिक्स फोर दीज आर द एलिमेंट विच विल बी कंटेन इन ए क्रॉस बी एंड इन बी क्रॉस ए एलिमेंट विल बी फर्स्ट वी राइट द सेट बी एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट विद सेट ए एंड सेट ए कंटेन्स वन थ्री फाइव सिक्स देन इट विल बी इक्वल टू टू वन टू थ्री टू फाइव टू सिक्स फोर वन फोर थ्री फोर फाइव एंड फोर सिक्स दीज आर द एलिमेंट विल बी कंटेन इन बी क्रॉस ए सो ओके दीज आर द नॉर्मल एग्जाम्पल्स नेक्स्ट मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन it is given that in this example if a cross b contain elements a1 then b3 a3 b1 a1 a2 and b2 in this we have given a cross b and we have to find we have to find L set A and set B. That is elements of set A and elements of set B. So it is clear in the entries A cross B contains first element of A and second elements are of B. So A will contain elements if we say in A there is first element is A B A B A A B. So there are only two elements that is A and B. So A set will contain A B. And B set is of uh, last one that is one three three one one two two. So it will contain three elements that is one two three. So these are the two sets A cross B set A and set B. Let's move to the next example. In this we have given if A is equal to one two. Form the set. A cross A cross A. We have to form a set that is that is of A cross A cross A. So first we will find A cross A. That will be equal to one set A cross set B. Set B is also set A only here. So we will write the element that is one 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 two two one and two two. These are the elements which we contain in set A. Now what we have to find a cross a cross a. Okay, we will find like we take first a cross a. It is one 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 two two one two two, and we have to find the Cartesian product of this with set a only. That is one two. What it will contain a cross a will contain first set will be one one one, second will be one one two. And then one two one, and one two two. Third set will be two one and one, and this will be two one and two. Then it will be two two and one, and last one is two two and two. These are the set will be which will be contained in two a cross a cross a. So this is all about Cartesian product. Now, if we have to find the number of elements in the Cartesian product, next is number of elements number of elements in the Cartesian product. Let us suppose there are two sets A and B are two sets. And A and B are two sets containing n and m element that is set a contains n number of elements and set b contains m elements then n of a cross b will be equal to n of a cross n of b number of elements n of a that means number of elements in a and number of elements in a are n and number of elements in b are m so if we have to find number of subset these are the called number of elements if we have to find number of subsets that how many subsets are formed in cartesian product then it can be found in a number of subsets in a cross b 
then it can be find with the formula of 2 k power mn so with the help of this we can find it how many number of subset can and a cartesian product a can be contained here m is the number of subs, number of elements in a set a and n is the number of elements in set b so in this way we can find out the number of l subset in a cross b and number of elements in the cartesian product